Welcome to Highline Excel class number 14. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook week three. Hey, if you're in the class, enrolled in the class, just go to our week three website. Hey, this video and in fact the next uh, four or five videos, we're going to talk about data analysis. And so the first thing we have to talk about when we're talking about data analysis is data. Here's a data set it is set up correctly and there are seven rules here for how to set up your data let's take a look at these um, seven rules the first row has field names with formatting that is different from the rest of the data you gotta have field names you don't necessarily have to have formatting that's different but it certainly helps no blank field names columns are called fields rows are called records you can't have any blank columns no blank rows and you have to have a blank row or column and or Excel's column headers between the data set and all the rest of the data so there it is you can uh, download this workbook and have that list I'm going to show you examples of all of uh, the b bad data setup which can cause problems but first why do we have to follow these rules hey because things like sorting and filtering and pivot tables and subtotals don't work unless your data set up this way let me just show you an example if you have it set up this way it's so easy to sort you right click in one cell on the data set and in 2007 you can point to the sort and there it is just like that it sorts that doesn't work if you have um, blank field names or uh, columns inserted etc another thing is pivot tables and I'll go through how to do this uh, later but notice when you invoke a pivot table it's looking at that whole data set again if you didn't have uh, if, if you had blank columns and blank rows or even data right next to the data set it wouldn't work so here's your pivot table right just like that we can count how many cars of each were sold instantly and it all comes from the fact that you have to have your data set up correctly let's look at uh, some bad data here's a situation where and I haven't read over here you have um, a missing field name and that causes lots of trouble so you don't want to have a missing field name another one this one completely wrecks the data set you can't have uh, a column inserted you shouldn't even have blanks like this that causes a pivot table for inst instance to uh, switch from the default sum to count uh, that's easy enough to fix but uh, you shouldn't shouldn't have blanks if you can avoid it and you definitely cannot have blank columns similarly you can't have a uh, blank rows and finally this is a big mistake uh, lots of people make you can't have data right next to it you can see here I have a note a note if that note is next to and touching a cell in the data set then it becomes part of the data set and messes things up also you can't have totals at the bottom much better ways than uh, you know adding a sum function here using a pivot table or subtotals or something like that so the rule is if I um, want that note I'd have to insert right and I'm gonna clear this column so you have to have a blank column between that and this same with here right click insert right nothing there so when this data set is free floating you can see there's some row headers some column headers which are fine it can be touching those but any other data in your sheet cannot be touching that data set let me show you a keyboard shortcut I'm gonna control ZZ those a keyboard shortcut the keyboard shortcut to highlight your data set and let me go back to this good data set right here my cursor is in one cell if you use control asterisk and asterisk on the number pad you see how it highlights the whole table let me do that again control asterisk that's a great uh, trick now that highlights the whole table using IntelliSense and uh, pivot tables and subtotals and sorting and all of those data analysis features also does that little um, in in memory control asterisk to highlight the table that's why if you have a blank column like this if I control asterisk that's what sorting will do that's what pivot table will do it'll only grab part of the data so finally to sum it up you definitely if I if I was here and I was a pivot table I would go um, control asterisk and it would highlight this and this and then think that's part of the data set so make sure you follow all seven rules um, and then we can do all of our amazing features coming up um, 
for data analysis. All right, see you next video.